Hey, what's up, everybody? It's a YouTube troll here, and uh, <clears throat> I'm here to show you actually uh, a little thing about Full Burst on PC that the current gameplay you're seeing is on PC. Um, as I'm as I'm talking, what I'm gonna do is show you the problem with this game at the current moment. Uh, as you guys may know, a lot of people can't play online, right? And I'll explain that in a moment. Uh, but uh, I wanted to let you guys know, like, I wanted to show you something beforehand. And, you know, guys, I, I guess I'll explain to you right now. Uh, apparently, a bunch of people from North America decided to buy EU keys for Full Burst. So, they, they bought the European version of Full Burst when they actually live in North America. So, that crowded the servers to the point where now the servers are fucked up. And Cyber Connect 2 is, is supposedly fits in it, you know? So um, this is PC, like I just said. I'm recording through MSI Afterburner, which is like a program on my on my uh, graphics card. This is how it goes, guys. No sessions found. All right. You you rarely see a fucking session pop up here, and it's it's irritating as shit. First of all, but that isn't even the biggest issue. No, the biggest issue in this fucking game is that if you play a ranked match, you can't actually finish it. And I, I don't know how to explain this to you guys. Uh, I mean, look at my battle record. I've only been allowed to play two-player matches because the servers are so fucked up that after the second match I played on players, I got kicked out. Like it was, it was just like this error, transmission error, or some crap. And I played about maybe ten ranked matches, and all of them have kicked me out. Like all the fucking, pro all the time, I get kicked out by the servers. And it's not the person or anything, because we're playing just fine. And in the middle of the match, you'll say, oh, disconnected, you know? And pretty much, oh, my bad. If you guys want to play on PC, this is what you got to do. You got to make a lobby, wait for somebody to join, and still you're going to get kicked out of the fucking servers regardless. Okay? That, that's, that's bound to happen regardless. And it pisses me off because, you know, I paid 40 bucks for this game. And as you guys can see, nobody has joined yet. It's a ghost town in, in this fucking game. Look, somebody joined just now. And actually, let, let me show you. I hope I'm able to actually see or show you guys what I'm talking about. Um, it was a Spyro made a video about this. And I was relieved that it happened to him. Not because I dislike him. I don't dislike the dude at all. And I don't, I don't wish him ill will. It's just that I was relieved because I knew then when I saw that video that it wasn't just me. So I was like, you know, okay, so it's not my game. Because at first I thought it was just my game and I had to uninstall it, install it again. And, you know, and I was like, okay, fuck it. It's not working even though I reinstalled the whole thing. So let's just, you know, let's just play a little bit. It'll probably take 30 seconds for us to disconnect, so it's not a big deal. Let the battle begin. So far the match is good though, like the match is good right now, but you, you'll see. Oh shit. <clears throat> there you go. There you go. See, it froze. Transmission error and in session. That's what happens to me on every ranked match, you guys. Every ranked match. And it's annoying because and, and, and listen, beforehand I know it's not Cyberconnect 2's fault on this point. I know that it was because of the people that bought the EU keys, which were a lot of people. It was a lot of people that bought the EU keys. And, you know, now the whole game is fucked up. Um, what was it? This guy, actually. This guy right here that's number one. He's a developer for the game. And he came out with a statement on, on the Steam forum saying that, you know, actually, I'm going to put it on the screen right now. He said that concerning online... 
um, you know, there seems to be a lot of people from U.S. using EU keys, and that crowded the service a bit. And then he said that they're working on it. They're gonna, they're, not, they're actually working on fixing the issue. So hopefully they do fix the issue. And I want to ask you guys before I go, what do you guys think about this problem? Because uh, honestly, it's a big issue for the people that bought the game uh, on PC. So I want to ask you guys personally, what do you think about this? All right, so leave it in the comment section below. And, um, you know, we'll just have a little discussion, I guess, down there. Peace out.